Hello out there. Due to the recent happenings, the hike in price in commodity and transport, and even the removal of subsidy, and how it has had a very harsh ripple effect on us, Nigeria, we could see yesterday that the presidency held a meeting with some top um, business gurus the in the private sector, like the likes of Dangote, Tony Elumelu, and even the founder of the BUA Group, and others. They had a meeting to know a um, way forward on how to put heads together and to tackle the, the fall in our economy. Um, they looked at the angle angle of um, inflation, the angle of how the Naira has lost its value to the dollars. As I said yesterday, they were talking about how the dollar, um, one dollar was equal to 1,600, 1,599 Naira or thereabouts. Well, this is the CIA corner and my name is Obed Jerry. You can also be a part of the show. Do well to subscribe, click the notification button, connect with us across all our social media platforms so that we drop videos like this. You get to receive our notifications. Before we go into the story, let's go for a very quick pick when we come back, look into the story properly. Right, welcome back from that very quick break. Uh, the good news is the presidency um, in person of Ahmed Bola Tinubu held a meeting with some business gurus, top tiers in the private business sector, um, Dangote, the BUA um, founder, and even Tony Elumelu to discuss the way forward on how to improve our economy. Now, we've seen that this is a very good one, but the, the meeting looks impromptu. And we've seen times before now that they hold meetings like this, and most of the time it yields no fruit. How are we sure that this same meeting, this same pattern that they used in calling them, without even briefing us exactly what is being said here, their agendas that they discussed, except when these gurus came out and briefed pressmen that, okay, they were happy about the meeting, like Dangote said, he's happy about the meeting and how to discuss on the way forward of the country. Tony Elumelu said the same thing, but we've seen in time past, even the Buhari's administration and all other administrations where they call these um, leaders, top tiers of these private sectors to discuss way forward and most of the times it yields no food it comes out to nothing now this is coming out exactly at as at when the nigerian labor congress is holding their ground that they are embarking on strike we we, we could see that um um um, Femi Falana is saying that the Nigerian Labour Congress would uh, uh, continue their protest that they want to embark on come um, February 27th and February 28th, even as they are even um, laying allegations on them that these protests would ruin and jeopardize the peace of the nation. Yes, this um, protest, protesting at a time like this when we know Nigeria is going through a lot of crises ranging from the insecurity angle to the food to transport to subsidy and even the lives of um, people in the country are not even all that safe like it used to be. We know that if they embark on this um, protest, some other organizations would wake up to and want to embark on protests. And we know that most of the times when they hold protest, there must be disruptions. There must be people that are not most times part of these organizations that would come out to destroy lives and properties, try to disrupt this protest and try to make the protest look like a very violent one. We know that normally the, the rule guided governing protest is that the process should be um, um, violent free. They should come out peacefully and air their views. But the federal government looks like they are not giving the Nigerian Labour Congress enough listening ears. They've not called them for dialogue that would yield food. We sit, we've seen times when they would sit down, have closed door and even open door meetings. And at the end, it will not come out as they are supposed to be. Now, are we, uh, are we to say that since the Nigerian Labour Congress are holding their ground that they don't want to embark on, they, they are not going back on them leaving this protest that they've concluded to to go on 27th and 28th of February. Is it the reason why the federal government um, decided to put heads with these top tier persons in the business industry? And the meeting is said to be uh, somewhat impromptu, like they didn't take their time to prepare for it. And the agendas of this meeting was not made known. Even a resolution was not even pointed out as at that time. See how the hardship has pushed us towards the angle of, and now let's deviate a little bit. The hardship has even made um, the architectural and the construction angle, they are even putting heads together, trying to say they are looking for ways and measures to um, set as alternative ways to supplement 
to, to replace the, the cement that we are using. The, the federal government um, discussed before now with the, these cement organizations, these cement producing organizations, the likes of Dangote, the BUA, Ibeto Cement, and all other ones. And they, they say that due to the inflation, the um, clearing and forwarding of um, spare parts they use in producing this, um, trans uh, this um, cement, and even bad road is the reason why they cannot drop this, the price of cement from that. The minimum they can go, the maximum they can go is 7,000 Naira. Somebody gave a suggestion that they can use um, burnt brick, red bricks, and even fiber, and even as high as the timber wood. But these um, suggestions that they are giving, it's not well checked. They've not checked the implications that are in it. We could see how the person was bragging that before the um, the usage of cement in Nigeria, Nigerians have been building houses. Yes, Nigerians have been building houses. But a very quick question to ask is, during those times, were Nigerians living in skyscrapers? Were Nigerians building big edifices that are able to contain at least 1,000 persons? If we are to use red brick, for example, it would take um, clay, and even it would even require a little bit of uh, uh, cement. This cement price is not still going down. You will still, in one way or the other, patronize these persons that refuse to reduce the price of cement. And since there is no other alternative, now how shall we that these red bricks will hold our buildings firmly? And what, has, what is the duration of these bricks? How long would it last? We know that a house well built with um, the adequate um, number, right, the adequate quantity of cement would last about 20, 30, 40 years, depending on how big the building is and how many persons are using the building every day. Now, we don't know the duration of people that make, duration of people that would be able to make use of these red bricks. And then, these red bricks, these bricks, this alternative, like they called it, how many persons in Nigeria are producing it? If we start making use of these red bricks, it will become another business venture for some persons that in Nigeria now we could only boast of like two or three persons that are into this brick producing industry. How sure are we that if Nigerians, um, so many Nigerians involved in that business, that the price of these bricks will not skyrocket also like the cements have gone? How sure are we? So these are the things that we have to put in place. These are the things we have to look. We cannot say because we want to solve a current is um, issue, we will then put our lives at risk. How sure are we that if we build um, different kinds of story buildings and different kinds of um, skyscrapers, that it would not in turn collapse and destroy lives and properties. Even the usage of this cement. We've seen in times when in Lagos, different buildings built with cement do collapse. So how sure are we that if we make use of these red um, bricks and burnt bricks that it will not destroy? Okay, now look, um, so they still gave suggestion of the use of timber. The timber would, how many of our forests have a huge number of timber that would, that would reach um, uh, around 30 to 40 million persons? Let's not even talk about half of the population. How many number of people? So this is what the federal government needs to look out. When holding meetings like this, they have to just make sure they do well to come with a resolution. It's not about even just talking about our problems, at listing our problems here and there, talking about the problems that comes up now, talking about the problems that comes out later. They should do well to look into our problems and look for solutions that would help us with immediate effect. All right, this is where we come to the end of this program. Do well to subscribe, turn on your notification button, follow us across all our social media platforms so that you get to receive notifications and you get to receive our updates when we drop it. My name is Obed Jerry, your co-host for today, and this has been the CIA Corner here on Tap TV. See you next time.